So today I'm going to show you how to overclock an i5 2500K to 5 GHz in real time. So as you can see here I've got a ASRock Z77 OC formula, a Fantex dual tower cooler, uh, and I've got two 2 GB sticks of G-Skill rip jaws, and I've got a uh, 6870 Hawk in there, but that's not going to make any difference. So, on the screen here, you can see we're in the ASRock BIOS. I'm just going to move the screen down a bit. So, we're going to go into OC mode here, and we're going to leave pretty much everything as it is. Apart from going to go on CPU ratio, we're going to start with 44. And in here we're going to put 100.1 Spread Spectrum, we're going to disable that. We're also going to disable uh, Speed Step. Then all we're going to do is set XMP there. Then we're going to go on CPU Voltage, set it to Fixed Mode. Type in 1.4 volts. Or press the up key. Right, and we're going to get set load line calibration to level 1, which will keep it at the same voltage all the time. Press F10 and end to save and exit. So as you can see we're now in Windows, we'll open up CPU Z. So as you can see the process is at 4.4 GHz on 1.4 volts. Now the quickest thing to use um, to test CPU stability very quickly, it's not 100% certain but it'll give you a good idea, is Cinebench R15. So we're going to open that up. Now we're going to click Run Advanced Benchmark, not that it matters, and we're just going to run the CPU benchmark. So that's stable enough to run one Cinebench R15. It's got 603 CB. So what we're going to do is, we're going to quit that. Don't want to save the score, you can save your score if you want. And um, we're going to restart the PC again. Now we're back in the BIOS, we're going to just bump the multiplier up to 46. Leave everything else the same, F10, and enter to exit and save. Restart back into Windows, open up CPU Z, 
you'll see we're now at 4.6 gigahertz and this is constant it shouldn't change also the voltage should stay constant at 1.4 volts we're going to open up Cinebench again and run the CPU test again So there you can see our scores improved to 629, it's completed the test again, so that's stable enough. So we're going to restart the PC again. Straight into the BIOS, we're going to just bump it up to 48, save and exit again. Open up CPU Z. 4.8 GHz, 1.4 volts. Open up Cinebench again. Press run. You can see it's noticeably quicker now. Six hundred and fifty three. Better score again. So again, restart the PC because that was stable, didn't crash. So this time we're going to go up to five gigahertz. You can see there the target speeds five gigahertz and 5 megahertz or 5005 megahertz back in windows check CPU Z again 5 gigahertz 1.4 volts Run the test again.
see, you can see we've scored at 682 and we started at 4.4 gigahertz and we only scored 603 so we've got over a 10% increase which is pretty nice now what we can do now because we're at 5 gigahertz is we want to make sure it's uh, completely stable so we're going to set the priority to high and we're also going to close uh, Explorer which will close all the stuff we don't need you can also close any background programs that you have running press run again Six hundred and eighty six, we got a little bump in score there. So now we've got two options. We're at five gigahertz and we have um got a pretty decent score as well. So what we can do is we can either try for five point one gigahertz or we could lower this voltage down here. So in this case I'm happy to run uh, 5 gigahertz 24-7 I'm also happy to run 1.4 volts fixed as a 24-7 overclock 